Greetings from Double Page Unify. In this video, I am going to talk about header security, feed links, and REST API under security options. So let's enable header security. Here you can see multiple checkbox. First one is disable XML RPC. Before disabling the XML RPC, let me show you how you can easily test it if your website has XML RPC enabled or disabled. Just type XML RPC dot PSP. And if you see something like this type of notice, that means you have XML RPC enabled on your website. To disable this, just check this box and set the settings. Now if I reload, you can see the access is denied. So this is how you can easily disable the XML RPC. You can also remove the edit URI from the head section, remove short links from your single blog post. So let me just set the settings and navigate to my home page. Let's navigate to their single blog post. Now view page source. Here you will see no short link available. See there is no short link available. If I just uncheck this and reload again. Here you can see a short link URL available. But sometimes that's actually not necessary. So if you like to keep your page source clean, then you can use this header security options to clean up your website header. Now let me show you how you can easily disable all of your feed links. Before showing you, let me just navigate to my home page and then page source. And if I search for feed, here you can see different type of feeds available, comments feed and your website feed. To disable all of this fit, just navigate to the option and enable this and set the settings. Now if I reload, there is no fit URL available. This is how you can easily disable all your entire website fit by one click. Then we have a REST API. After enabling REST API, you can see disable REST API from your WordPress and also remove the X powered by notices from the server response. So if you like to disable your entire REST API, just, just check this box. And if you like to remove the X powered by notice, check this one. And before set the settings, let me show you. Go to inspect, then network. Now if I reload, And here you can see X powered by PSP 8.1.29. So this is sometimes a security concern for a lot of developers. If you like to hide your PSP version, just check this one and set the settings. Now if I reload, here you can see there is no PSP information from the HTTP header. That's all about header security, feed links, and REST API. If you still have any question regarding these three features, feel free to get in touch with us and we will try our best to assist you.